Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mallorca Under the Sun, and today I'm up in Valdemosa. Now I'm up here in Valdemosa in the Tromontana Mountains to show you what a great day out looks like if you're visiting any of the resorts in the southwest of the island or even Palma. Now this village is really famous for many reasons so let's take a walk up into the town and I'll show you around. Now I've come up to Valdemosa early today because it does get very hot up here and busy during the summer months. So I thought I would park early while there are no other cars or buses and go and have a look around the town. Now Valdemosa is just a small town so it's really easy to find your way around. It's just a joy just to wander the streets and uh, check out the shops and see what's there. Now there are plenty of cafes as you come in. As you can see here everyone's coming out for early morning breakfast. Okay, so the first stop on our walk today is to the iconic church that you can see from just about anywhere when you approach Valdemosa and the gardens that lie behind it. Okay, so we're just entering the gardens here and you can see that there is a, a, ramp, a ramp here for either push chairs or for wheelchairs, which is which is fantastic. And they do have a few building works going on here, which isn't great, but I'm pretty sure they won't be here all summer. So Valdemosa has been made famous by the composer Frédéric Chopin and the tourist board here has been riding off the back of his visit now for the past couple hundred years. Now he composed several pieces here on his piano in the monastery behind me during one long dark winter here in Mallorca and his lover George Sands also wrote a book which you may have heard of called A Winter in Mallorca. Now this book didn't paint a very pretty picture of their time here and she was rather disparaging in the way she described the locals. But the one thing that she was right about was that winters here on the islands can actually be very cold and damp and since Chopin suffered from tuberculosis this did not in any way improve his condition. But um, it's an interesting book so if you're out here and you're visiting Valdemosa it's definitely worth a read. But Valdemosa has a reputation in its own right and, and deservedly so because it is such a beautiful mountain village and it is a UNESCO uh, protected heritage site too. But these gardens are just beautiful. Look, you can see we're just coming up past some rose gardens here and it's lovely and shady. So we're going to walk up towards the, sh the church. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the side of the Riel Cartucha. Now this is the monastery where Chopin actually stayed and they have recreated his bedroom in here and the room that he did stay in. And they also have his piano too. So if you're interested in that side of the history, you can get tickets and pop inside. And in fact as well, um, if you are parking in the town, if you take a picture of your parking ticket, you can get a discount when entering. So Valdemosa is particularly popular for those seeking a peaceful stay here on the island and we're just coming up towards the Hostel Can Mario. 
Now there's several lovely boutique hotels that you can stay at in the in the town and they do range from boutique hotels to thinkers or even just uh, just this little hostel here. Okay, so there's several hotels in the actual town itself which are worth checking out and if you are staying here you will just step out of your hotel and fall into the many traditional shops and cafes bars and restaurants so you really do get a taste of real Mallorcan life here in Valdemosa So on many of the doorways here in Valdemosa you'll see this little plaque right next to the door frames and it is of Santa Catalina Thomas who was the first saint to be born in Mallorca. Now there is a second church here as well which is just uh, just behind these buildings but we're going to head up this way and just have a look down some of the side streets. Now what you'll also notice when you're walking out around Valdemosa is the orange trees. Now they're normally more full of oranges earlier on in the year but you can still spot them. One of the prettiest places to go for a coffee is just up this little side street here as you're heading back towards the church to Plaza Ruben Dario. Again, this is a lovely little courtyard here. And then down to Troya Restaurant and La Posada because it's a little bit off the main strip and you're right on the edge of Valdemosa. And this is the point where you can really enjoy some lovely views right across the town. All the way over to Palma. Okay, so at La Posada you can get some really lovely tapas here, hot and cold tapas dishes and prices are from around 8 to 9 euros per dish but I mean it's worth stopping off here for, for some lunch. Now it's not open early in the morning so you can't get a coffee here but it's worth popping over around lunchtime or for dinner too. And La Troya is open from midday offering lunch too and just taking a very quick look at the menu you can get very sort of similar let me pop down to the English you can get um, oh actually it's really good value you can get dishes here from just six to seven euros a main course here is 17 euros So if you're coming up here early you'll see that shops are start slowly beginning to open and you can get everything here from uh, some locally made clothes, some lovely summer clothes. And you have some great tourist shops here as well selling ceramics, paintings, bags, basically everything you want to 
get to take back to your home country with you and just get a little reminder of your visit here. This is a great uh, wedding destination here too. I can see somebody's getting married. How lovely. <laughs> okay, so thanks very much for joining me on my short guide of Valdemosa. But there's so much more to do here. If you visit on a Sunday, you will find a market here too. There are also a couple of festivals that you can come along to on the 28th of July and the 24th of August. Now, whether these go ahead or not, um, who can say, but just to let you know. So if you're catching public transport out here, you need to get the 203 bus, and that's the TIB bus from the bus station in Palma. And that route then continues from Valdemosa onto Dea, onto Soyer, and down to Port de Soyer as well. And the buses run quite frequently through the day, so you could really make a good day trip of it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching everyone. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and come and join me on my Facebook group, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.